So my intern was working on this scene right here and she couldn't figure out the pillar uh, right here because it was getting too hand drawn or something and not enough texture. So I figured I'd help her out and I figured I'd help you out how to do this. We're doing some pixel art for a Super Nintendo game, a fake Super Nintendo game, uh, which is uh, obviously Elden Ring. Well, not obviously, I hope you recognize it if you play the Elden Ring. And so I'm gonna teach you a little trick and here's that little trick. So I want a column, and so I just I'm just gonna Google a picture of a column, something that I like. Uh, I think this would work, but I'm probably gonna go with this one because it already has the right perspective. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Windows key Shift S. I'm gonna grab this little image right there. I'm gonna go to Photoshop. I'm gonna make a new file, and it will automatically give me my uh, the right uh, dimensions. I'm gonna paste that in. And I, I don't even care about the water uh, watermark right there because I'm gonna make it completely different. I'm gonna go to indexed color, mode, image mode, index color. And I'll say flatten layers. Yes, that's why I'm doing it a separate file. And already uh, gives me some results because I uh, did this before. Well, maybe I'm gonna go with uh, master selective. Uh, I'm gonna up the colors about 48. Yes, that still gives me enough detail, but it does lower the, the number of, uh, of colors, maybe 40, right up to the point where I'm happy. That's that's about that's about enough. So I'm gonna press OK. I'm gonna Control C that into the file that I'm uh, that I was working on. Zoom out a little bit because it's gonna be big. There we go. See, it's quite big. Control T and then make that smaller. So I'm happy. Something. Think about that size. I can always like flatten it a little bit. There we go. The important thing is that I, I'm going to keep nearest neighbor on while scaling. So when I'm happy, I'm going to press Enter, zoom in, and see that that well the pixels are quite hard, and all I want to do is like just get rid of the the stuff around it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. grab my lasso tool and just uh, roughly click around it. I could do this with the magic wand tool, obviously, but I'm gonna maybe delete a little bit more. I'm gonna delete around it and then press delete. And now I got a different column right here and I can uh, optimize this and I can make this uh, a lot a lot more interesting by uh, maybe I'm gonna remove some details like this. Maybe I'm gonna add some details. You know, I can I can do whatever I want until I'm happy with my pencil brush, and that's how I would do it. This is a different column. I can always like uh, like make it a little darker, a little less um, saturation. I can do anything I want with it uh, until I'm uh, very happy. Maybe increase the, um, the levels a little bit. There we go. Looks nothing like the original uh, and still gives me a nice, nice result. And I can work from there. You don't have to always uh, start from scratch, which is really hard uh, with pixel art. So, you know, that's just something that I want to show. And it's a really nice trick if you're doing pixel art. Bye bye.